Welcome back to Fast Market here on the Schwab Network. It's time for cash tags. For that, let's bring in our next guest. That's going to be Andy Swan. He's a co-founder at Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Andy. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, so we're talking eBay. had earnings. The stocks had a good run. It had a, a good quarter, last quarter. They're really shareholder friendly. But Andy, I mean, does your data support this? Because I, I don't know, maybe I'm just not the demographic. I haven't used eBay for years. I mean, I, I just don't see the... I, I don't see the value here, but obviously a lot of users do. Yeah, a lot of users, a lot of users do, but it's less users uh, by the day. It feels like a lot of people think like you and I, where eBay is kind of the next iteration of Craigslist, both uh, on the way up and now on the way down. The the thing with eBay is, you know, the company's doing a very good job of executing on lower costs increasing the revenues they get for the amount of merchandise that they sell. But the fact is less and less people use this site um, and less and less merchandise is moving through this site each and every year. Uh, the company is aggressive about its stock repurchase programs. You know, I think they're, they're very good at managing uh, the financial metrics that they have in front of them the truth, though, is this is a company in decline, and we see that continuing for the long-term future. There's really no catalyst that we can see on the horizon that would switch eBay from, you know, a slow decay mode that it's in now back into a growth mode in terms of users or uh, total merchandise sales. And so, uh, like Folio data continues to show deterioration in uh, web visits. You know, they had a decent holiday quarter, but uh, we're kind of back to the same old trajectory of uh, slightly negative, just a, a decomposing, uh, slow, slowly decomposing and decaying business uh, that does a very good job of managing the decline so that they can continue to uh, produce profits and produce cash to buy back shares and, and, and um, increase shareholder return despite uh, the lack of growth. And so I think that will continue. I think eBay um, this quarter is going to have a tough time living up to expectations. But overall, this is a company that is well managed and in decline. And it's just, you know, one of those stories that you see every once in a while, uh, the, the opposite of a lot of companies we talk, talk about on here, which are growth companies that have to manage growth in a, in a, um, in a meaningful way. Well, here's eBay having to manage a decline and doing a pretty good job of it. You know, Andy, when I look at, at a stock like eBay, I think of what could have been, right? Because they were early into oh, yeah. this online shopping, and they were they they were one. You know, look at the the timeline. They were early into this, but they just kind of did their own thing, and they stayed in their little niche. And is this a company? Because their fourth quarter was pretty good. The stock popped. Yeah. Um, they gave good guidance for the rest of the year. A lot of their metrics, they're returning money to shareholders. Is it, Should we lower our expectations and just admit that this is a company comfortable in its own skin and they're going to do their little niche yeah. of sales and that's it? Yeah, I, I think that's exactly right. I think that, you know, if I'm eBay, I'm thinking, okay, I've got a pretty good business here. Um, uh, you know, a lot of revenue. I can control costs in a lot of ways. The users that I do have, I probably can squeeze a little bit more out of every transaction over time because, you know, that's the, where else are they going to go at this point? If you haven't left eBay yet, you know, uh, what are you waiting for? And so I think, um, you know, they'll continue to reduce headcount, they'll continue to re reduce that overhead cost. And essentially wait until they've stopped, uh, you know, bleeding users and bleeding uh, merchandise volume. And, uh, you know, who knows when that will happen. But until then, this is a company that at least recognizes who it is, the trajectory that they're on, and is managing it in a really uh, positive shareholder friendly way. Uh, yeah, and uh, increasing ad revenue it was really a, a big thing last quarter, yeah. why the stock popped, even though you've seen uh, active buyers negatively affecting uh, this. But, Andy, do you have an earnings score going into this? Because, you know, stock's up nearly 18% so far this year. It's it's had a pretty good run over the last uh, uh, three months. Yeah, really up 23% since the last 
report. We think that's setting up pretty nicely for a bearish play here. We've got a, a you know a, a negative score on this going into earnings. The way that the market looks right now, of course, we've got a big decision here this afternoon that may impact things a little bit. But uh, you know, going into this report, it feels like the type of earnings season where it's sell first and ask questions later. Uh, we saw that with Starbucks. I think that eBay is set up where the risk is definitely far greater to the downside than to the upside. So I'd be comfortable with a defined risk bearish position here. Yeah, uh, high bar going into earnings. That's yeah. pretty uh, amazing for eBay. Uh, all yeah. right, great data. Hold on. This is the first time we've ever used the term decomposing on fast market. I yeah. just want to note that. Yes. That, that event. Awesome. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. Decomposing. Yeah, great stuff, Andy. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. All right, that's Andy Swine, co-founder at Likefolio uh, on this. Kevin, they're expected uh, revenue estimates over $2.5 billion. Yeah. That's, that's growing.